Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Vishal from My Wave, and in this video, I'm going to set up this Medusa JS in my local system. I'm using the Postgres SQL for my database. So, for set up this Medusa JS, we just need to go to the website docs. When I click on docs and just click on this create Medusa app, and this, uh, this there are some uh, prescripts. Uh, Precast text which is uh, asking for Node.js version and the guilt if I have and there are two ways to install this Medusa.js app using the NPS and yarn but uh, when I click on this yarn okay so I'm just copy this yarn method and opening my open my file explorer and then I go it anywhere okay I just set up these things in my one there is a, I already set up this Medusa, but I'm again I set up a new one. So I click on the git bash here and then I type create what was that? This is the yarn create my I just copied this and I paste it over here. Yeah. So uh well installing this package is this it's asking some questions about this package name like the my medusa store so i'm just like that like the my way store okay and i click on this so i'm just using the search starter default and the next js starter okay and for the instance it takes uh, some time so i'm just pause this video for a while and then we'll check in later okay so there is a, there is set up this uh, setting the database and there's some database which is, which is stored in the data folder which is seed.json folder okay so our setup is done and here is some uh, information about uh, uh, accessing the medusa api and like the back end folder and the storefront so I just close this window and when i check there is my my web store so i just open it in my code ed editor so after that i just op I open i just open my terminal and i just go go into the storefront first okay so i just type just go into directory of the cd store front and it's just start a uh, yarn day okay and this start uh, starting point is this so I clicking so i just uh, say start the store it's show me the storefront of this mid suggest as so as you can see here is our app so okay so Okay, before doing that, uh, we need to start the backend also. So I'm just uh, open this another terminal and just going to the backend folder. So cd backend and I start the yarn command. Okay, so this port is installed now. Let's uh, refresh this page again. Okay, now it's going all good so here is some uh, products as you can see now i'm going to access my backend also so for these things so i'm just uh, going to the admin dashboard tab in the documentation and there is some uh, information about install this admin uh, installing the package so i just uh, run this command for install the admin port because uh, when i uh, go into the port of this like the local host port 9000 and slash app there is no uh any uh path of the, for the app okay so for this uh right now just stop this uh process and then i add this command like a yarn add medusa slash admin and just hit enter after that uh, i'm just going to the backend port and checking this the medusa config.js and i uncomment this lines because as you can see in this uh, documentation at admin to medusa js configuration you need to sell uh, in medusa hyphen config.js add admin login into the array so it's already mentioned that so we, ju we just need to uh, uh, uncomment this lines okay also this 
so after adding this admin panel we just need to start this uh, uh, yarn start uh, i mean the run the start yarn start command again and then we'll uh, we'll able to access the admin panel okay so our admin panel is now start uh, i mean install so i'm just uh, run this command again yarn start and let's see again so i'm just going uh the disk compile it's uh, creating a build in the data folder as you can see no, sorry in the dist folder so let's just wait for it and now it's done so i'm going back to my browser okay yeah uh rebuild initialization and then we click on this and going to this yeah and i click uh, run this command i'm mean, run this browser okay okay let's start now so when uh, when i click on this again okay so uh for these things uh it's, uh it's asking me for a email and password so i'm just going to this uh like data in the and open the save.json folder sorry uh, json file so i just copy this email and the password from here and then we can access this uh, access this admin panel so for this things i just type this uh, vishal and direct gmail.com for a dummy account and you uh, we can access this uh, admin panel and here is our products and there is customers there is no any customers and discount gifts pricing and settings uh, you can uh, browse this all this all these things in your browser in your setup so so next move is to inst uh, connect this setup with this with the post to sql because we don't want to put that uh, put uh, getting the, all the data from this json json file so for for these things we first of all we need to install medusa cli in your system so for these things i'm just going back to my uh, documentation and just search Medusa CLI install. Okay, so uh, install Medusa CLI. So for these things, you can just run this yarn global add medusa js slash medusa cli so just copy this line and i already actually i'm already installed this uh medusa cli in my system so you just need to install in your system okay so for these things when i check uh if i click on that so it's globally installed but uh, i i already installed that because so i don't need to do that but i just install this just for you guys so uh, and also i'm going with the postgresql so i uh, i already have the postgresql so i simply open my pg admin to access my database port portal and this is a pg admin for managing tools for postgresql so okay so i'm just open my this okay and uh, it is asking my password again and again so i creating a new database for because i already create this for my uh for the practice so i create a new database for my underscore wave underscore store like my wave underscore medusa okay just type in medusa and click on the save and yes uh, okay all is going good so I'm going going to the uh, env file of the backend folder, and it is it's asking me for uh, some uh, database uh, parameters. So I'm just typing the post please. Okay, and then I need to put uh, put the uh, database URL. So for these things, I need to uh, get the password and this thing. So that is our demo. Okay, so I just uh, debug this line and type like the post post phrase dot and then okay not the, this dot the column and then my password my password was uh, was I one two three for of my local system and then I direct localhost 
and then i my port number my port number is 5432 and slash my database name my database name was my wave and my wave medusa so just my wave underscore medusa okay and that's it for night i just uh, comment this line okay and always set up now i need to migrate migrate the database so for this thing i just need to run this migration command so for the uh, running the migration i just you know, go back to this my my documentation and then i just type migrations and then how to run migration for these things we just type the medusa migrations run so i type it here in the my terminal medusa migrations run but when i'll try when i type hit okay so uh for these things uh and again i need to go back to my backend terminal actually so i just uh, stop this process and again i type medusa migrations run when i hit the enter it's a uh, it's a start to migrate all the database into my uh, databases after that when i refresh this and when, when i go to the schema and check in the tables as you can see the all the tables is integrated migrated into my database and for the seeding we just need to run this npm run seed so let's start the seeding of the, this uh, all the data from here to, into my database So again, when I check the customers and the data, like I'm checking the products. So I just refresh this all, all of the things and checking the products. If I have, then yeah, here is my product. And when I click on this view all rows. So as you can see, here is my all the all the products are listed in my database. So it's uh, officially connected to a, a real database and here is my Medusa admin. So for the starting the admin, we can also again start this uh, via start once more time. Okay, and when I refresh this page, okay, it's asking me again the my uh, pass email ID and password. So and again just copy this email ID and just copy it here and paste this. Uh, I mean copy this password too and paste it over here. I click on the continue all is working fine and it's again asking me again a real email id so i just yeah so let's start the, uh, adding this uh, project as a real way so i'm just open this and i select this size and click on the add to cart and when I go to going to the cart page, I'm just going to check out. And now it's asking me for a email. So I just type my email ID, mobile number and continue, continue to delivery. And then asking me a payment, payment type. So I'm just, uh, uh, let's check, uh, check the post fake standard. And now I'm going to click on the checkout. Now and my, my order is posted. So now I'm just going to my Medusa app and when the back end and just refresh this. And now as you can see my, I received a order from the customer side. So when I click open this, so I can simply print uh print all of them. And we can also get the raw order details in my back end. Okay, and it's opening my web ligers, so it's using it's built with using the React Express node and using some uh, next JS things. Okay, so as you can see, we can easily build this web application using, using some uh, commands and some setups. So meet you soon in the next video with some new topics. So meet you soon in the next video. Happy coding.